Hey everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today we're going to go over some practice questions for antibiotics and antivirals as an introduction to pharmacology. In this quiz, we'll review some of the common drugs, including amoxicillin, tetracycline, erythromycin, and more. And I'll walk you through the answers and rationales for each question. Starting off with question number one. Milk must be avoided with which of the following antibiotic classifications? And for each question, I'll leave a bit of a break where you can pause the video and think about the answer. So the answer here is C, tetracyclines. Dairy products can bind to tetracyclines and prevent adequate absorption of the antibiotics, decreasing their effectiveness. And question number two, which of the following are examples of narrow spectrum antibiotics? And the answer here is D, none of the above. These are all examples of broad spectrum antibiotics. Moving on to question number three, a superinfection is a term used to describe a bacterium that has gained antibiotic resistance due to failure in initial treatment of said bacteria. And this one is B, false. A superinfection is an infection that occurs after or on top of another infection. Superinfections usually occur following antibiotic treatment that has caused harm to host flora. Host flora normally prevents the growth of pathogenic organisms. Question number four, which of the following statements is true about antibiotic therapy? The answer here is B, antibiotic-associated diarrhea is a common side effect of many antibiotics. It is thought to be caused by an imbalance of GI tract bacteria. A, C, and D are all incorrect. Question number five, antivirals such as acyclovir and valacyclovir fight directly against viruses to kill them and do not act on bacteria. And the answer here is B, false. This one is a little bit of a trick question as the second part of the question is true. Antivirals do not act on bacteria. However, antivirals do not fight directly against viruses in the same way that antibiotics attack directly against bacteria. For example, antivirals can inhibit viral replication to assist the body in eradicating the virus, but again, antivirals cannot directly kill viruses. Question number six, blank and clavulenic acid is a common combination of two antibiotics used to increase the effectiveness against gram-negative bacteria. The combination is known as clavulin. And the answer here is A, amoxicillin. Clavulin is a common combination of amoxicillin and clavulanic acid. I'll place a link to my video on amoxicillin, which explains more about clavulin. Question number seven, cefazolin or ANCEF is a blank generation cephalosporin. And the answer here is A, first generation. Cefazolin is a first-generation cephalosporin, which means that it has an increased effectiveness against gram-positive bacteria. Second-generation cephalosporins have an increased effectiveness against gram-negative bacteria and decreased effectiveness against gram-positive. And our last question for this quiz, number eight, which of the following antibiotics, when given orally, must be given via enteric-coated tablet or capsules? The answer here is C, erythromycin. When given orally, erythromycin is inactivated by stomach acids and therefore must be given via enteric-coated tablets or capsules. And that's it for our antibiotics and antivirals quiz. If this video has helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or would like me to review a specific drug or topic, please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.